What a pain. Not used the van for a week. I've come in, switched it on, and the blowers are playing up. Turn it around, it works on four, but on nothing else. Let's go and have a look. So the heater blower, it's not working on one, two, three, but on four, we get the full power again. It's a real common fault. This is the T6 transporter, and uh, yeah, it's only uh, three years old. But anyway, let's see if we can figure this out. We know what it's gonna be, the old heater resistor. So if we make his way down to the footwell on the passenger side, just below the glove box, and what we have under here is, let's see if we can get a decent shot on it for you. Okay, so yeah, I've got this, this panel under here, and uh, what we're gonna do is just uh, stick his fingers behind it and pull it down, it's just got some tabs on it, so we just literally grab it, pull it down, on the front, three clips, then you pull it towards you and it comes off. Now we're in here, I can take you across here, look. And can you see this green thing up here with the connector plug in the back of it? That is, this is the heater resistor. On the back, you've got the connector plug and it's held in with two little tabs, one either side. You've got to squeeze those together and pull the plug out. This could be really tight. If I can just get my hands on it, give it a squeeze, and pull the plug. Oh, oh it hurts your fingers. It's really stiff. I'll try and get the other hand in as well. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come on, baby. Oh, she's tight. She's red and tight. Oh, gotcha. There it is, that's the connector plug off. We can check that just to make sure it's not melted. You can see all the wires there. It's pretty clean and tidy there. And the pins in that side. You can actually put a multimeter in here and you will get 12 volts if you if you want to check that. If you're getting 12 volts at that, you, you again, it's just guaranteeing that this is the issue. So we've got here two, there's two bolts either. So one bolt either side holding this in. I don't know if I can get the camera up there, it's just too tight to actually see those. Look at that. If I get a little socket on the end of that, yeah, it, it's a five, five millimeter. Oh, sorry, 5.5 5 .5 millimeter. A 5.5 5 millimeter um, socket. It's the same as all these, all 5.5 .5 millimeters. What a crazy size. So let's see if we can get the actual ratchet in there. I love this little ratchet, little Facom ratchet. It's got a really, really fine tooth on it. It's beautiful. So let's see what we can do with this. This one's the easy one, the other one looks tighter. The other one looks really awkward to get at. There shouldn't be too many threads on it because it's, uh, it is, this one here, this side, look at that. How are you supposed to get in at that? Well, we've got to move the carpet out of the way, maybe, is that going to help? It matters, I don't know. Oh, it's a real, it's a real tight one, isn't it? I might have to just put the socket on it and put some pliers onto that and turn it with a pair of pliers. That's maybe the only way we're going to do this. Actually. For that one, I've got my trusty little, I haven't got a five and a half millimetre spanner, but what I have got is this beautiful little adjustable, which I can get set to about the right, yeah, get it set to the right, um, like that. Let's see if I can get on with this. Oh, diamond. Oh, gosh. See, the old adjustable spanner, you can knock them, but you can't beat them just for those times. Like I say, a really odd ball size, five and a half millimeters. I must invest in a in a five and a half mil spanner now because, uh, like I say, it's this is the first one of these T6s they've actually changed these heater resistors. So uh, this is going to be something that comes in abundance. We're going to get a few more of these. Maybe maybe we are. Like I say, these threads are quite, they're like a self-tapping thread. They're quite a coarse, a coarse thread, so they don't take much, much getting out. So that's that one out. 
this thing wants to leap out. Look, it's, it's dying to come out. And I'll just finish that one off. It can't wait to get out, look. I'll just get that on there. Just turn that the rest of the way with into that socket. And here it comes. Oh, look at that. Look at the state of that sucker. Can we get that out without messing about too much? Oh, here it is. It's a bit skanky, look. It's a bit rusty and tatty. Yeah. But anyway, that's got to be burnt out. So it's come out that way with the uh, uh, the two bits, two tabs at the top. Now this is exactly the same on the T5 and the T6. The resistor's exactly the same, the job's exactly the same. So uh, yeah, T5, T6, same job. So the new one, Yeah, this is the new one in the box. Um, let's cut it open. Let's get in there and see what we've got in here. Look, we've got. Uh, I'll put a link into one of these if I can find one on the uh, in the description. If I can find a decent seller for it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Look. You shouldn't be looking any more than sort of 30, 40 quid top whack. For one of these okay let's try and get this back in the old so when the plug comes around it's going in that way isn't it so which is what did I, what did I say that way like that so straight in the old like that yeah straight in there isn't it and then the connector plugs Gonna go in the back. Like that. Yeah, and clip that in. Yeah, that's good. Oh, let's get them two bolts back in. <laughs> it's really tight, isn't it? It's really fiddly to get in at. I can just turn that with my fingers just to get it started. Get this other one done as well. Now, once you've got the new one, you can try this out of, when it's actually out, just to try it when it's new, but beware, because it gets really hot. When it's actually in this heater blower uh, unit here, that's what cools it down. It blows air past it and keeps it cool. So if you're gonna run it outside, only do it for a short time, because it will burn and start to smoke and get really hot. Right, so that's that, it's in. Connector plugs in nice and tight. Now we can pop back the uh, pop back the cover. It just slides in on that little. You got a little lug there goes in first. You hook that in at the base. Just get this wire out of the way. Just shove that out of the way up there. So you've got a hook, one hook in here, and the other one goes in there. 
So uh, we just get that up there, hook that in there like that, and then just pop the clips back in. One, two, three, that's it. And then we come back up to the heater. Pop the ignition on. One, two, three, four. Working as good as gold. Beautiful. Jobs are good. One. And like I say, uh, part number on there is that. This is an EIS uh, German unit. That's the original one that we took out. Uh, it's looking a bit bit rusty and horrible but uh, yeah what a strange one and you've got an original part number there if you can make that out uh, PA66 GB20 GF10 well I hope that's been a use to you blowers are all working I can keep my feet nice and warm when it's getting cold and uh, yeah the windows are defrosted I can see where I'm going so <laughs> Thanks for watching. If it's any use, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. <sighs>